hello and welcome students how are you all i hope you all are fine so in our last class we have already studied about the question and answers today we are going to continue with that question and answers of chapter number 1 give details of the aryan and the dravidian culture or give information about the most ancient people belonging to the aryans and dravidians race so i have already explained you about the type of people which were there in our india and we have already started about it and explained it we have to write an short note or we have to tell about the people or information of most ancient people that are aryans and dravidians so let's begin the aryan culture the people belonging to the nordic or aryan were the creator of the aryan cultural civilization in india the aryans were not more developed people than they are than they are contemporaries contemporaries they adopted the good ways of the life of the other tribes in india and formed a harmonious culture they were natural they were nature lovers they worship trees rivers the mountains the sun the wind and the rain and composed rich as hymns for seeking their blessings then is recitation of vedas performing yagna because a part of their became became a part of their religious rituals initially they lived in the densely populated Saptasindhu region in northwest India which was called Aryavarta subsequently Aryavarta extended up to Mithilaya and Mandyachal in the post Vedic period their vast area was recognized by the names such as Bharat Bhumi Bharat Khand Bharat Varsh after the name of the king bharat the rich composite culture of india is the heritage of the aryans then is the dravidian culture the people belonging to the dravidian race were the original inhabitants of india they were the direct descendants of the stone age civilization and creator of mohenjo-daro culture after the invention of aryans they shifted to and settled down in the southern part of india thereby their language and culture have survived they gave the concept of mother as goddess and father as god thereby the religious belief of parvati as the mother and shiva as the father evolved they evolved the tradition of worshiping with dhup deep and aarti they also undertook nature and animal worship the aryan culture was internationalized internationalized by the dravidians they had they had matriarchal family systems and permitted intercaste marriages they made progress in the craft like boat 
एंड राफ्ट मेकिंग वीविंग स्पिनिंग एंड डाइंग कॉटन तमिल तेलुगु कन्नड एंड मलयालम आर द द्रविडियन फैमिली लैंग्वेजेस स्पोकन बाय now our next question is explain in detail the cultural heritage of gujarat so we have already studied about the cultural heritage of gujarat in our explanation videos today we are going to write a detail answer on cultural heritage of gujarat places of cultural legendary and archaeological importance these are lothal रंगपुर एंड सुरेंद्र धोलावेरा धोलावेरा एंड रोजादी दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज श्रीनाथ गढ़ विच इज नियर द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजकोट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच आर रिटर्न इन द ब्रैकेट प्लेसिस ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इम्पोर्टेंस दिस आर विक्ट्री टावर एट वडनगर स्टोन इंस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ किंग अशोका एट जूनागढ़ सन टेम्पल ऑफ मधेरा फोर्ट एंड गेट एट चांपानेर रुद्र महालाया ऑफ सिद्धपुर मंसल लेक ऑफ विरमगम जम्मा मस्जिद जुलता मीनार सिद्धि सैयद ने छाली एंड हथिश देरासर that is the jain temples at amdavad then is shastra ling lake at lake of patan and rani ki bau raj mahal of vadodara tomb of mohammad khan and burst and burst agra ag agyari at navsari then is places of pilgrimage so there are many places of pilgrimage in our uh, sorry in our gujarat so some of the places are mentioned over here that is dwarkadesh temple at at charda pit of jagat guru shankaracharya at dwarka jyotirlinga temple at somnath ambaji temple bauchraji temple then the रणछोड़ दर टेम्पल एट डोकार सॉरी एट डाकोर श्यामलाजी टेम्पल महाकाली टेम्पल एट पावागढ़ मीरा दत्त मीरा दत्त टेम्पल एट उनाव उन्वा एंड पारिताना जैन टेम्पल देन इज फेस्टिवल देर आर मेनी फेस्टिवल्स एंड फेयर्स ऑल्सो इन अवर गुजरात so some of the festivals are there are polo forest festivals at vijayanagar kite festival and at and kakarya carnival at ahmedabad tana tanariri festival at vadnagar northern dance festival at modera and ranotsav and kutch then is fairs there are many of other fairs in gujarat so so the famous fairs in gujarat are held at modera कार्तिक पूनम फेर एट अंबाजी भावनाथ महादेव फेर एट गिरनार तरनेतर फेर एट तरनेतर एंड बुथा फेर एट धोलका जैन एंड बुद्धिस्ट केव्स दिस आर एट वडनगर तारंगा देन इज द कंभलिया कंभलिया श्यामला जी कोटेश्वर देन इज तलाजा डांग एंड झगटिया दिस आर द बुद्धिस्ट एंड जैन केव्स देन अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑन प्रिजर्वेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ कल्चरल हेरिटेज और दिस आर द अदर ऑप्शनल क्वेश्चन फॉर द सेम आंसर आई एम गोइंग टू रीड दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर यू explain our fundamental duties as laid down in the constitution for the preservation and conservation of heritage or what are the provisions made in indian constitution for preservation and cult of the cultural 
heritage so in this answer we are going to study about what are the rules which are been made in our constitution for preserving and conserving our cultural heritage so in article 51a of the constitution of india lays down the fundamental duties of the citizen items 6 7 and 9 in article 51a prescribe the duties related to the preservation of cultural heritage these are the duties as under the value to value and preserve the rich heritage of our composite culture to protect and improve the natural environment including forests lakes rivers and wildlife and to have compassion for living creatures to safeguard public property and to adhere violence the so these are all the rules which are there in our constitution for preserving and cul uh, conserving our cultural heritage now the last one is write a short note on negritoid that is hubbis so negritoid are according to some historians the most ancient inhabitants of india their physical features were dark complexion short stature of four to five feet height and curly hair so this is a short note on hubsi or negritite people so that's it for our today's class i'm going to stop with our short notes that is writing part we will continue in our next class thank you